Hey guys! So I thought I would come on here and show you my pencil case collection. I know I've been vlogging a lot lately and I thought that would be fun, but um, I know you guys are here for kind of stationary type things and now that I've kind of unpacked some of the things that I've decided to keep with me instead of putting into storage, um, I found my whole pencil case collection and I wanted to show you kind of what I've got and what I keep in them. So I'm not going to really start in any order um, because I a lot of these are from my childhood and so I just, well, I'll just start with uh, what's here on the right side. Growing up, going to visit my family in Hong Kong and China, I had access to some of the best like Sanrio and stationery possible and Hello Kitty was my absolute favorite if, of the Sanrio characters and so this actually came in a set that came with several other things. I don't remember what came in it, I think I've lost those things, but inside I've kept just some random stationary things from my childhood. I don't even touch these anymore. Uh, little eraser refills for those like clicky eraser pens some lead inks. These I got from China. I just like the packaging so I just kept that in here. A Winnie the Pooh pencil that my cousin once gave me in Hong Kong. These Pizza Hut pencils actually came from the pencil box here. Pizza Hut is like a sit-down restaurant in China and for some reason they were giving away like pencil cases and this is actually made out of like cardboard paper and it came with this and then some pencils so I thought that was cool. So that's that pencil case. I keep it for that because it's very unique. Um, I've not seen anything like this. So, And then going back to the Hello Kitty pencil box, I've got a Hello Kitty ruler. Uh, has this even ever been opened? No, because I still have the packaging and it's like... No, wow, okay. Uh, never before opened Hello Kitty ruler. That is that Hello Kitty pencil box. That is that Hello Kitty pencil box. This is really an inadvertent collection too because I just happen to have a lot of these. I used them for school when I was a kid and I just happened to accumulate a lot of them. This is actually one that my cousin gave me. It's a tin Mickey Mouse pencil case. Very slim. And it's got a lot of my sketching supplies so that's one of the clicky eraser pens that I have. Um, my lead holders from my design college days. My trusty scale ruler, sketch pencils. So all of my sketch supplies kind of stays in here. Oh, these are mechanical pencils from my dad's old days. These are very vintage, so I like to keep those in here. I've got this one. I can't remember the frog's name. Is it Kuroki or something like that? Because he liked to sing karaoke. This one's kind of fun. It's pink. It's kind of bulky. But it's got this where it flips up and you can put your pencils in while you're doing homework. This top part flips up. And there's little slots for like erasers and leads and things like that. So I keep my old Hello Kitty eraser in here. And I've got some calligraphy nibs in here. I didn't have any other place to put them so I just decided to stick them in there. And then this bottom portion flips up and you've got room for other things. So I've got, what are these, drafting dots from my old days. Um, a moleskin pencil. It's been quite scratched up because I've used it. And a couple pens. So that's this one. This one's pretty dang old. This one, and this one, and these are probably some of my oldest, as well as this one, which is another Hello Kitty one, obviously, red and white. And this flips up, and it's kind of got like the secondary tray, which I really love. So this is one of my favorites, actually. I used to keep all of my sketching pencils in here, so, as a kid, so that's that. So it has the Hello Kitty sticker and barcode on the back. So those are probably the oldest pile that I have, as well as this oddball Pizza Hut pencil case. 
This one I used throughout college. It's a Hello Kitty pencil case. This one's fabric. I also got this in China. And I liked this for school because I could put all my sketch pencils, my erasers, my pencil sharpeners and everything in here. So when I went to art class and went to um, like floor planning and all of that, I just could keep everything in here. So I've got more lead holders, more pencils, Prismacolor marker, um, some charcoal pencils, one of my uh, watercolor brushes, and this, uh, this is old, this is from college, so that all lives in here, and that's what it looks like, plain on the back. So this is really handy. It stood up really well. Got a little dirty because it's fabric, but I love this thing, so I keep it. This one is one I picked up in Muji. I got this in an England haul recently. I'll link that haul below where I did a video. I just like the slim, compact design of it. It's very simple. It's aluminum. That's what it looks like. I just love the aesthetic of it, and it would be quite... This would be nice if you had some more, like, nicer pens or pencils or fountain pens that you wanted to protect and keep in here. So that's what it looks like. These are smaller, too. I mean, if you look at the size, it's much smaller than your average pencil case. So, or to compare to something like this. Look, it's like that. So that was, this is more like utility. Like, if I need to grab some things, throw it into my bag, this is what I can use. I don't tend to use my vintage ones too often because they're just too precious and if they ever break on me I'd I'd be very sad. And then finally I have my Henry Bendel pencil case. I think this is supposed to be for makeup brushes which I could use for that case but currently I'm just using it to house my uh, Pentel water brush, a couple of glass styluses. I actually took them out of the fancy box that they came in because I was packing and I needed to consolidate some things. So I needed something protective to keep them in. So these are glass. These are just the little plastic things to protect the tips. They're beautiful and I love them. This one writes very nicely. I use this one quite a bit. I love these. I love, I want to get back to using bottled inks and things like that. So when I unpack my writing box, uh, maybe I'll show you. And then all my watercolor brushes. Oh, another uh, water brush. So these were too tall so it was hard to find a case for them and the Henry Bendel one happened to fit them perfectly. The tallest one I have I believe is this one right here. So this is a number 12 round brush and it just fits perfectly in here. It doesn't ruin the brush tips and that all lives in here. I think when I travel I'll switch that out and use it as a makeup brush holder which is just perfect because it's very it's that kind of washable material it's very sleek looking slim keeps everything in place so that's it guys that is my pencil case collection I thought it'd be fun to show you because I haven't seen many of these videos and I just happened to see that I had you know a mini collection of them so I thought it'd be cool to share with you show you a bit of my childhood um, and a lot of these hold a lot of happy special memories of visiting family in China and just being in a country that loves stationery as much as I do so just just lots of fun memories let me know what your thoughts are show me what your pencil case collection is I'd love to know um, show me what you guys keep in your pencil cases Obviously, this is a lot of stuff that I don't access a lot um, because a lot of it's just old stuff from my childhood that I don't want to like throw away. So, I mean, let me know if it's just a pencil case that you use every day or it's just stuff that you use infrequently, special things that you just keep in there and you don't touch at all. I want to know because I, I love pencil cases, as you can see. So, I hope you guys enjoyed watching. Uh, click the like button if you enjoyed, subscribe for more journal videos to come, and I hope you guys are doing well. I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys!